to remove this uh, old thermostat that I have. As you can see, um, the battery indicator is on uh, because it does take batteries. And uh, the problem with this is right now there's no C wire. So we're going to figure out how to remove this and install a Nest uh, learning thermostat, the smart thermostat, and remove this one and uh, figure out how the wiring is. And uh, we'll go over some tricks and tips. Uh, how to get power to your uh, smart thermostat. In this case, I'm going to be using the Nest. These uh, tricks and tips that we're going to go over applies to any uh, smart thermostat, not just the Nest. All right, I guess the first thing is let's go ahead and uh, remove the old thermostat. So I did remove the wires um, from the terminals here. You can see what I have. I have a green, two reds, and two whites. So the way this works is the green is the G wire, and that's for a fan. And then you have uh, an RH and an RC for the reds. Uh, this one right here is uh, the RH, which is the heat. So this one right here is for the cooling. And then you have the Y right there uh, for the cooling as well. And then you have the W, which is right here for the heat. All right, so what's missing here is a common wire, which I don't have. If you don't have the common wire and you just install the Nest, it will work. It's not the ideal situation. The ideal, the ideal situation is to have a common wire. And what you can do is um, this green wire right here uh, is for my fan uh, on the AC. What you could do is you could steal this, okay? Because usually a lot of modern systems, you don't need this wire. Where it says fan right here, you can use it on auto. And what that does is circulate the air. Um, I never use this feature, so I could technically take this uh, fan wire for the AC and use that as my common wire. Of course, you know you need to label it here and the other end. But you could use this, right? You could use this for your common wire because this is just the fan that controls the fan. And really what the fan does, it just really circulates the air in your house. Um, the non-air conditioned air in your house is basically all that is. And a lot of people, what they do is they go ahead and borrow this, uh, this green wire, this uh, G wire or fan wire. So another option is we can let Nest steal power from either the heating side or the cooling side. Okay, and basically a thermostat, all it's doing is creating a circuit. So when you go ahead and call for heat, what happens is this um, red wire here, the RH, and the, the W wire, which is right here, they connect together, they bridge together, and they call for heat. That's all it is. Okay, so let's see. We're going to take this out here, this thermostat, and see what we have. So I'm looking at this, and we have two sets of wires, and this is for the heating right here just wired and then this wire is for the cooling the reason that is is because I have a baseboard heat um, one system handles the baseboard heat and then a separate system handles the um, the AC okay so you can see on here we have three wires coming out of this uh, this bundle of wires right here and then we have two but if you look closely here like I just did we actually have three wires and you can see the green in there so what I'm gonna do actually we should go to the furnace and this green wire should be there on the furnace not being used. So I'm going to cut this back and I'm going to use this wire here. You can see it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as a C wire. So another thing you could do, let's say you didn't have that wire, which I'm going to use, which is great for me. You could get another thermostat wire, okay, one that has uh, all the wires that you need that has a C wire. And basically you would tape it here at the end. And then on the other end where you have your furnace or your AC, you would just pull it through. Feed a new wire through basically is what you would do. So I went ahead and uh, relabeled everything. Basically the uh, Nest includes these labels. So I just wanted to make sure I put the C on there on that green wire, which is usually the G. Just if somebody, else, if somebody else ever does work, they know that I'm using that as a common wire. And I'm going to do the same thing on the furnace end. So I'm using the trim plate. And I have the nest mounted here. I just got to put the screws, but you can see there's a little leveler right there. You want to go ahead and use that, level it up. And then basically we're going to connect the corresponding wires that we labeled to the terminals on the nest. And um, the only thing that we have to take account is the wire that we're using here as the new common wire, uh, the green wire. It's going to go on the C terminal now. Okay, once they're uh, all connected to the terminals, you want to make sure these little tabs here stay down. See how this one's not being used, it's up. You want to make sure you pull on these wires a little bit so they're not loose. Well, I already tested it. It's good. So let's go to the furnace and figure out what's going on there. 
So you can see here, the C is clearly labeled and uh, the RH is labeled on here as well. So basically you want to look on your transformer to see where the common wire is, where the C label is. And if you test the C label to the RH wire on the boiler side, you should get about 24 to 27 volts of electricity. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this green wire that's coiled up here. That would usually go to the fan. I'm going to plug that into the C terminal and that's how I'm going to get my common. And this is going to give me a complete circuit between the RH and the C wire, about 24 to 27 volts of AC. So here I'm going to turn on the electricity to the boiler and then we're going to test with a voltmeter. And it's reading about uh, 26.9 to 27 volts, which is fine. Now that we have everything connected the right way, we'll go ahead and place the nest on here. And it just basically um, catches on to this. So we'll see if it's working or not right now. All right, so you can see that there's an error right there. Nest cannot control the equipment properly without wiring changes. And if you continue, we can see that there's an error right there on the common side okay and you can see it's error E79 alright and when I look this up it just means that it's not seeing constant power but what happens is there is constant power because we have constant power from the heating side but the nest wants to see the constant power come from the AC side so what I'm gonna do is if I remove this nest and I remove so I'll remove the nest here and if I remove these wires from here what's going to happen is the nest is going to sense that it's only handling one thing, the heating side, and it's going to work again. All right, so we'll, we'll do that, and I'll show you that it's going to work if I remove the cooling side. Okay, so I just removed the wires from the AC side. I still have the C from the boiler, so all I have right now is just the wires going to my boiler, and I removed uh, the uh, cooling side. So this is a double or a dual transformer system. So I removed the... Um, AC side and let's plug it in and let's see what happens. Now it should work without a problem because the nest is only going to sense that there's uh, a common and there's only one thing that we have on here, the heat. And what happens is even though it wants to see the power coming in from the RC, when you're only using one side, when you're only using the heat side, it's going to take the RC and it's going to go ahead and jump it to the RH. Okay, When it's just the heating okay, and you have a common come from the heating side, it will work. When you have the heating in the AC, it expects the power to come in from the RC side and then to the common. When that doesn't happen, it doesn't work. For some reason, it will jump the RH to the RC, but it won't jump the RC to the RH as it prefers the power coming from the air handler side. And I don't know why that is. That's a nest thing and that's a, a smart thermostat thing. If anyone knows why uh, these smart thermostats prefer power coming in from the air handler AC side, let me know. So let me plug this in right now. All right, so I just plugged it in, and again, you can see all of this, and equipment detected only the heat, and there's no longer that error, and everything looks good. So what I did here was just tape the old thermostat wire to the new one, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, snake it through to the attic. Okay, so here we are in the attic. So as you can see, we got the wire uh, all the way up. You can see the brown wire right there, and then where it was taped, and then the white wire that was there before. So now that I have the brown wire, which is this one I'm holding in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and uh, transfer it to over here where the connections are. So basically how this works is uh, the blue wire right here is the common. Uh, this is the RC right here. This is the fan. And that's the, the white one is the yellow. So we're just going to take the brown wire that we have and where the white one is, we're just going to substitute it uh, for the brown, which has our extra wire that we're going to use for the common. So here I have the uh, new wire. And I already went ahead and took some of the installation off and I called one I coiled up one of the white wires here because I'm not going to use that basically just going to use these right here so basically I'm going to match what's here on a new wire here on a new thermostat wire to these connections that I hear now on some of the AC units you might have uh, actual terminals on here it's just a wire nut um, there is the transformer is in here but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do what they did here just wire nut it together and uh, that should be all set now that I have the common wire, uh, which is this blue wire right here, okay? So here's what I did so far. The new wire is this one right here, and I basically connected like the old wire was, which is this white wire right here. So uh, blue goes to blue. Uh, this white here goes to the contactor on the, con the condenser. Just basically, if you don't know what they are, connect it back the same way it was. There's the brown wire right here, the new brown wire, and basically I connected everything 
as it should be. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on to the air handler. And uh, we'll test it downstairs where the thermostat is and see if we have about 24 volts. And then what I ended up doing is with the um, repurposed C wire, I went ahead and taped it and just shoved it to the back. I'm not going to use that because the Nest does want to see the common wire come from the air handler side. All right, so when I tested this, um, it looks like it's detecting all the equipment. You can see the cooling side on the left and then the right, you have the heating side. But what ended up happening was I got era N72 now. And basically everything is working fine, but N72 just means that it's not seeing uh, power from the RH wire. So I hope this has been informative. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I make videos about everything and anything. Thank you.